Hi you guys, welcome back to this Monday's video. I'm really excited to film. Every Monday I'm so excited to film, but between Monday and Monday I can't find out what to film. Like, I, honestly I ask people but then like they blow it off. Like, it's none of their business, but they also watch my videos, which kind of makes me angry because I also want to make content which you guys will enjoy, but nobody will give me feedback or suggestions to do in a video. So, please help me out. Comment down below future videos that I should do. Right now I'm filming with my phone, but I'm going to be ordering a camera pretty soon to film with. And, yeah, so I'm really excited for that. So, today, I'm doing top five pet peeves that I really hate when people do. The first one is people who chew with their mouth open. Honestly, I could care less about you. I could care that I take you out to dinner, I could care that I eat with you, I could care that we're friends. Honestly, if you don't know how to eat, you need to fix that because when you were little, you have this history of learning how to eat. You did not grow up in a zoo. You did not grow up with a pack of wolves. You did not grow up with a group of dolphins, a group of pandas, a group of whatever that can't eat their food right. I'm not saying that all these people are bad, that they should just disappear off this planet of the earth. I'm just saying that they should work on their eating skills, learn how to eat with their mouth closed. It's more respectful than disrespectful. So please fix, fix that if you're one of those people. Number two is... Okay, I see this all the time when I go to public bathrooms. That's why I don't use public bathrooms because they're kind of gross because, okay, I'm a boy, obviously, and I go into the boys' bathroom and when I see a worker or somebody go in there and they use number one, they use the urinal, you know, and I honestly, I use the urinal, okay? And after that, I wash my hands. But whenever I use a public bathroom and there's somebody in there using a urinal, I go over there and wash my hands after. And after they're, they're after they are done, I look in the mirror and be like, okay, is he gonna wash his hands? But no, they just walk behind me and walk out. And I see this all the time at Walmart with the Walmart workers. So I advise you, Walmart workers or Walmart company, to enforce this like really bad like I know you guys have a sign in there that says all employees must wash their hands before going back to work but honestly how do you know if they didn't like honestly I I should be undercover working for Walmart being like you should wash your hands you know like let's work out something you know honestly this is the most disgusting thing especially at a place where everybody buys food from you know I'm not saying necessarily that they touch everything, but it's kind of gross that they don't wash their hands. And I don't know if this is happening with girls, but girls are much more different than guys. Girls want to be clean, want to be all this other stuff. I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just that they're more uh, self-conscious about being clean about all this other stuff. So yeah, please work on that if you are one of those people. <laughs> Number three is even though I'm out of high school and in college, this still happens here. So there's a place where you have to take a test. It's the testing center. And honestly, there are people in there who have runny bad nose. Like honestly, why can't you just get up, go blow your nose, take care of your business and come back? But no, this still happens in college. And I honestly want to freaking carry a box of tissues just for that person and whenever I hear them or see them I just want to throw it at them like honestly keep the box I have 50 billion more like just do us all a favor and <laughs> blow your nose <laughs> so yeah it doesn't always happen in high school it happens before and after and long after you're freaking old so another thing is four number four is Whenever I'm texting somebody, honestly, I do this sometimes, is that I ask I ask my friends, my brothers, my mom, who they're texting. And honestly, I, I know it's none of my business and it's none of those other people's business. But what if they're talking to some creepy person? And what if they're talking to somebody who's trying to sell them candy, you know? Candy. 
you know, how stupid are you? Honestly, that's all I want to know. Like, when I ask my mom, my brothers, or friends, is just who are they talking to, you know? Not to be, like, all up in their business, up in their life, you know? I just want to know that they're keeping it safe. That I do not want to wake up one day from a phone call in the middle of the night from another friend that is their friend saying, Oh, this person disappeared. Somebody kidnapped him. You know, I just want to make sure my friends are safe. I'm a good friend. I love all you guys. <laughs> to be honest, I love all you guys. <laughs> and this one, I hate number five. This one is the big five. I just, this five, this hand, I just want to slap him. Like, honestly, it's the person who thinks, like, always one-ups, one-ups one person. Like, in an argument, in whatever the case is, they should be in debate. Like, honestly, you are born to be in debate. Even if you are in debate... They'll probably hate you still. It doesn't matter. You'll be hated whether you're in debate or just in regular life in general. These are the people who think that they're better than you, that they have it harder than you. Um, that let's say you have a scooter, they have a bike. Um, they have a car, you have a car, they have a van or a truck. You know, they always want to up, one up you. Um, especially this has happened in my foster home, you know. There's this kid who always thinks he's doing better things, who's always done a lot of things better than me. You know, I'm just trying to get out of the system, trying to do everything right, you know? I'm following the rules, I'm doing whatever I can to get out. But this kid is always one-upping, like, oh, I've done this, oh, I've done this, oh, I've done this, oh, I've had a hard life, oh. You know, I, <laughs> I honestly want to slap them with this five-finger hand to the face. I'm not saying they're necessarily bad, it's just really annoying. And it usually happens with mostly girls, I'd say. Mostly girls, like, mostly all, the, not all the girls, just mostly some of the girls do this. They always want to up, one up their friends or whoever. So, yeah, the, that's my top five pet peeves that I cannot stand. And I hope you like this. Comment some some of your pet peeves and please subscribe it will honestly help me i'm trying to get to 50 subscribers and if i do if i do if i get 50 subscribers i'm gonna do the cinnamon challenge and i honestly know that it's like a long time ago that the cinnamon ha cinnamon challenge happened but i just want to set a goal and then a challenge for myself so after 50 i want to get 100 and then do a goal and then 150 so it's going to be going on and on and on and on so please help me out. I don't want to do this, but please help me. I just, I want to reach out to other people who kind of, I want to help later in life. I want, I have a bunch of stories to tell you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, please, um, please, honestly, I'm just, okay. <laughs> Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. Um, my social media stuff is going to be in the description and I hit 500 followers on freaking Instagram. How crazy is that? And I know there's other people who have like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, but honestly, this is life changing for me because I always make new accounts every time and I don't stick to one account. I don't stick to one theme or, um, theme or feed. So I always like delete and make a new account. So honestly, this is just mind blowing to me that I have 500 followers. And thank you for all the support. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Stay gorgeous, stay beautiful, stay healthy. Never change who you are.